people, I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 53 of 2020, restructuring the Prime Minister's Court. The Decree 46 of 2006 on restructuring His Royal Highness the Premier's Court has thus been rescinded. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 54 of 2020 on transferring the subordination of the Handicrafts Directorate from Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority to Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 55 of 2020, amending some provisions of Decree 49 of 2012 on restructuring the Civil Service Bureau. His Majesty the King then issued Decree 56 of 2020 restructuring the Horse Care Affairs Authority. The CEO with the rank of Under Secretary shall be subordinated to the Board of Directors. The Horse Control and Health Directorate and the Horse Affairs Development and Organization Directorate shall be subordinated to the Chief Executive Officer. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who is currently on a tour to several countries in the region in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's pride in its deep-rooted historical relations and close partnership with the United States that reflect a long history of mutual understanding, cooperation and coordination in a manner that enhances their shared interest at all levels. His Majesty welcomed Secretary Pompeo and reviewed with him bilateral relations and means of developing and boosting them to enhance our frameworks for bilateral cooperation and joint action, especially in the political, economic and other fields. His Majesty stressed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen its strategic partnership and aspiration to consolidate coordination and cooperation with the U.S. to achieve mutual benefits for the two friendly countries and people. The two sides discussed the latest developments in the region and the initiatives and efforts to achieve stability and peace, as well as regional and international developments in addition to topics of common interests. His Majesty stressed the importance of intensifying efforts to end the Palestinian-Israeli conflict according to the two-state solution that achieves a just and comprehensive peace that leads to the establishment of an independent and sovereign Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital in accordance with the legal international resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. His Majesty praised the pivotal role of the U.S. administration and its tireless efforts to advance the peace process, establish security and stability in the Middle East, confront Iranian interference in the region's affairs, and promote international peace. He affirmed Bahrain's support for these efforts and endeavors. Secretary Pompeo expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King for the gracious welcome and stressed the depth of the distinguished historical friendship and cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Prime Minister of Egypt, Dr. Mustafa Medbouli. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing ties between Bahrain and Egypt, which continue to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of further expanding bilateral cooperation across all fields to facilitate further opportunities that benefit both countries and their people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Dr. Madbouli also discussed regional and international developments of common interest. His Royal Highness underscored the Kingdom's support of Egypt's initiatives aimed at achieving security, stability and prosperity in the region. Dr. Madbouli expressed his gratitude and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's continued support towards advancing Bahrain-Egypt relations and wished the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo at Sakhir Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of historic relations between Bahrain and the United States, which are based on strategic cooperation, strong partnerships and continuous coordination at all levels. He welcomed the visit of the U.S. Secretary of State, during which both reviewed bilateral relations and examined opportunities to further strengthen them. His Royal Highness underscored the Kingdom's commitment to continuing the advancement of Bahrain-U.S. strategic ties. During the meeting, ongoing efforts towards achieving stability and peace in the region were examined, in addition to discussions on regional and international developments, as well as issues of common concern. 
His Royal Highness welcomed steps made by the United States to reach an agreement between the UAE and Israel to stop the annexation of Palestinian lands. He noted the importance of increasing efforts to realize a just solution which utilizes peace as a strategic option and end the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. His Royal Highness noted the importance of the international community's solidarity in combating terrorism and its support towards efforts aimed at tackling the promotion and financing of groups and eradicating them at source. He stressed the need to adhere to good neighborly relations and mutual respect for the sovereignty and independence of states and to reject Iranian threats, including the launch of ballistic missiles on countries in the region. His Royal Highness highlighted the need to activate measures which will rid the Middle East of nuclear weapons and weapons of mass destruction, while emphasizing Bahrain's support for the production, development and use of nuclear energy for peaceful purposes in accordance with the international law. The U.S. Secretary of State expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his commitment towards strengthening bilateral relations and noted the long-standing depth of strategic relations between the United States and Bahrain. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the U.S. Special Representative for Iran and Senior Policy Advisor to the U.S. Secretary of State, Brian Hook, were all present. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its virtual regular session headed by its president, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and said that mosques will be reopened and collective worship and religious gatherings will be resumed gradually, taking into account all necessary precautionary measures. The decision was made following an extensive study of the latest developments and statistics about the coronavirus locally and internationally and the views and recommendations of specialists. The council said there would be coordination between the Justice Ministry and Sunni and Jafari endowments to set control and action to take the necessary preparations in accordance with the procedures determined by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. The council extended its greetings on the new Hijri year to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The Council congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on his successful medical checkups and prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness with lasting good health and happiness to continue serving the Kingdom and its people. The meeting affirmed Bahrain's keenness and pride in supporting religious freedoms and rituals within the framework of its constant eagerness to guarantee rights and freedoms for all, praising the great efforts by official agencies in cooperation with the concerned civil authorities to ensure the success of the commemoration of Ashura. The SCIA held another virtual meeting with the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the head of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, the Minister of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Sunni Endowments Council's Chairman, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajri, and Jafari Endowments Chairman, Yusuf bin Saleh Al Saleh. The U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and his accompanying delegation had arrived yesterday in the Kingdom of Bahrain as part of his tour in the region. He was received upon arrival by the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani and a number of ministry's senior officials. The Minister of Labor and Social Developments and Chairman of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Ahmedan, praised the launch of a package of initiatives by the cabinet headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince that aims to develop a permit policy for foreign employers to practice several professional activities, the flexible work permits. The minister noted the keenness of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to develop the labor market regulations and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to upgrade labor market policies in the kingdom to serve the comprehensive development march that the kingdom is witnessing. The minister pointed out that these initiatives came as an affirmation of cooperation and partnership in dealing with issues related to the labor market between all relevant parties as it was agreed to develop and activate the flexible work permit to serve the interests of all parties and contribute to activating the commercial and economy movement in the country. 
The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, hailed the Cabinet's approval of the procedures for developing a permit policy for foreign business owners to practice some professional activities. This decision is a step towards developing the labor market, activating monitoring tools and increasing job opportunities for citizens by making it the first choice for employment and a mean to maintain the rights of workers and prevent their exploitation. He noted that the development of flexible work prohibits the combination of a flexible work permit and commercial registration and that a flexible work permit also does not entitle its holder to issue a commercial register, em employ others, guarantee employment or other practices that require the existence of commercial registration. The National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to discuss the latest updates on the coronavirus. The Under Secretary at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid al Mana, affirmed that the Kingdom continues to exert efforts to combat the virus, noting that the percentage of daily COVID-19 tests for the population is considered one of the highest globally, conducting 707 tests for every 1,000 persons. He reiterated the call for volunteering and participating in the third clinical trial for the COVID-19 vaccine for those over 18 years old. Dr. Almana added that the task force continues its cooperation with concerned authorities to study the indicators and submit appropriate recommendations that prioritize the interests of the country and its people. He stressed the importance of following precautions during Ashura season. The project manager of Public Hospital Autonomy and the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant Colonel Ahmed Mohammed Ansari, noted that Bahrain is considered one of the top countries globally in the number of recoveries from the virus with a percentage of 92.2%. He stressed the importance of exerting all efforts to reach the safe standards and achieve a percentage of below 1% to overcome the virus successfully. The consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, noted that the third clinical trials of the COVID-19 vaccine are going smoothly following the large turnout of volunteers. She stated that the Ministry of Health is keen on early detection of new cases and contact through expanding the range of number of daily and random tests. Dr. Salman reiterated the importance of wearing face masks and at all times when outside as well as washing hands periodically and disinfecting all surfaces used frequently. She stated that all those who show any symptoms should call 444 and follow all the instructions given. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,217 with 362 recoveries, 357 registered new cases and one death. 117 of the new cases were detected amongst patriot workers, while 240 cases were contacts of active cases. The deceased was an 85-year-old female citizen. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.